Hey there guys, so this week's excuse for why I didn't post a video last week goes out to my friend Sean because he took my video camera to do a film project. Hashcad f hashcad? It was a good try, Alex. Damn. Hashtag film kid probs, am I right or am I right? I'm kind of on a roll with these how-to college videos because since I've been here for like two and a half months, I clearly know everything there is to know. And here at college, I have a lovely meal plan, which most kids get when they go to college. And as it is getting closer and closer to the end of the semester, I am learning that I might not be eating near the end of December. Happens to the best of us. I am making a video today to teach you guys how to survive on your meal plan. Let's get started. Okay, one, you're gonna need silverware to eat the food that you're gonna end up stealing. And while you could go out and buy silverware or bring some from home, but like, who does that, am I right? So what I recommend is stealing the plastic stuff from different places around campus. My campus has, you know, silver, like these plastic silverware dispensers everywhere. And if you take the silverware without buying any food, they get kind of mad. But if you take the silverware while you're buying food, they don't notice. So then you just keep it. But make sure you wash it because this is gross. Next, you're gonna wanna buy food in bulk because then that way you're getting more bang for your buck, you're getting more food, and chances are good that if you don't know how to do your meal plan, your friends didn't really know either and they're probably gonna ask you for some of your food. So if you have more food, then you have more to share and you can still eat yourself. Shang is kidding. So, buy in bulk. This is actually empty now. <laughs> I ate all of these. Yuck. Now my next piece of advice, every morning for breakfast I have Cheerios and what I used to do was carry this lovely box, this family sized box of Cheerios from class to class with me. But it was kind of inconvenient and a little bit awkward to be seeing in class like I decided I need a plastic bag. However, I didn't want to go out and buy a whole box of plastic bags, and you don't have to worry about doing that. All you have to do is get one plastic bag, okay? Fill it up, eat the Cheerios, and then wash it. And actually, if you're putting the same food back in, like Cheerios every morning, I don't really even think you have to wash it. Ew. Next piece of advice. Don't judge the food that people send you, like a single thing of Pop-Tarts or two things of hot cocoa. Because just be glad, whoa, down my shirt. Just be glad that people are sending you food in the first place, like it's food. And also, don't let people judge you when you eat the food, because like, it's food and you didn't have to pay for it. Don't let them judge you. It's food, okay? Next piece of advice. Mooching is a fantastic tactic as long as you're not on the wrong end of it. When you go to some sort of meeting thing in college, because you will and people will offer you free pizza, like that's a big selling point for college students, I recommend that you go and you get the free food and if they order a shit ton of pizza and they're like, take some home, don't be all embarrassed and like, I don't wanna take home some pizza, blah, blah, like no, take home the pizza. Because one, then you've got a meal for the next day and two, food that you didn't have to pay for always tastes better than food that you did. That's science. Straight up. If possible, visit your family as much as you can because they usually enjoy feeding you and they usually will and will not charge you for it. Unless you have a cruel family and then I'm sorry about that. And if you can't go home, eh, I don't have any advice for you. Next piece of advice. If you sleep through breakfast, you don't have to eat breakfast. Candy is a very important and vital food group that is often forgotten about, but it is cheap and, you know, will fill you up, <laughs> make you feel full and sick, and you won't want to eat again for like a good little while. Well, get on those sugar highs, people. Woo! I am making a mess! And my last piece of advice is to learn how your meal plan works before you get to school. Figure out if you are actually insured three meals a day or if it's just two on campus and you have to find one on your own or however it works. Figure that out before you get to school. Don't figure it out towards the end of the semester. That's all I got. So from me to you, cheers.
Here, want some bacon bits? Artificially flavored chips that are not real bacon. Yeah! And these are bacon pieces. And they actually say artificially bacon flavored chips. So it's not even real bacon. There's actually no meat in this product. <laughs> Gross. 